So I'm just going to throw one out there. I just want to know what you think. Uh, Lance Lynn used to be really good for the Cardinals. He's still pretty good. He's just 30. He'd be a half-year rental. Um, we don't know what the price of a rental pitcher is yet. We've seen a bunch of really cheap like outfielders and power bats going cheap so far in the, at the deadline. But what do you think of like, a half-season of 30-year-old Lance Lynn? I don't know. I mean, like again, like you said, I don't know what the you know the asking price for him would be. I mean, I think he's an upgrade over Bauer or Tomlin, clearly, and you know you could make a pretty good argument that he's an upgrade over you know Clevenger, even Salazar, when you consider like complete track record and health history and stuff like that. But I don't know. I mean, Lynn hasn't been a model of health either, and. I just don't know that he's enough of an upgrade to be worth giving up that much. Like, again, like, you know, if he came back to me and like, oh, you know, the Indians give up like their seventh best prospect. And I'm like, yeah, sure. What, what the heck? But I don't think I'd want to give up like a top five prospect for him. And I, I just I don't have a good enough read on what the market for someone like him would be to say. Yeah, I don't. it's definitely not going to be like. We've always talked about it before. You're not going to trade a seven, eight, nine guy, but it's not going to take Tristan McKenzie either. I don't think because he had he missed all of 2016, and like you said, he's had injury problems in the past. So I don't know. After I'm off the Sunny Gray train now, I think Styles at least has me enough to be off of that. So I'm going to just take a little step over to the Lance Lynn train, just casually walk onto it. I'm not steering it yet, like I was the Sunny Gray train, but I at least like the idea of Lance Lynn. Um, his biggest issue this is this year is giving up a ton of home runs, but. Maybe he can stop doing that because it's like an unsustainable amount he's giving up. But I don't know. I like the fact that he can be consistent, which is something the Indians don't have at the back end of the rotation. That is nothing. Josh Tomlin, I think we just call him a streaky pitcher at this point. He'll go off for like one or two games and then have a bunch where he gives up just like double-digit home runs over a couple starts. And even tonight when he was good, he had, what was it, like two solo home runs. So I don't know. And then Bauer is just wild all over the place. So I like the idea of the Indians having some consistent guy at the back besides because even Clevenger I wouldn't call him consistent yet obviously Danny Salazar is not consistent so yeah I don't know I mean looking at I pulled up Lynn's numbers his ERA is really pretty his FIP's pretty ugly and a lot of that is the home run rate which as you said is you know sort of unsustainably bad but his walks aren't really out of line with Norm his strikeout rate has dropped a little bit I don't know he's a better back of the rotation guy but that's just not worth that much to me right now it just, it just depends on what he's going to be worth, I guess. Cause like, like all trades, if it has to go with Tristan McKenzie for him, no. But if it's something less, I think probably what's going to happen is...